Hi guys, welcome back. Today what I'm going to do is review the Titleist T300 irons. So these are very much Titleist's main game improver, almost forgiving iron that they do. So what we'll do today is have a look at these irons on their own, look how they perform, and I'll also do a little comparison to the T200 irons, the iron that sits in between this one and the T100s, and just see how they compare. If you enjoyed today's video, please do smash that like button down below. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. And next to the subscribe button is a little bell icon. If you tap on that, you'll get notified for every new video I post. So T300 iron, let's see what it's all about. So as ever, let's start with the tech of this club. Tartus are aiming this very much at the person that above all else needs forgiveness, needs something that's gonna help them. They're branded as the ultimate game improvers club. These have got more tech in them than both the T100 and T200, but whilst they have all this tech, they still keep this head fairly compact. It's quite a good looking club head down, by the, down behind the ball. So much like T200, this has got the max impact core. Basically, it's got a polymer insert in behind the club face, which is designed to really help keep the ball speeds nice and high, as well as when we catch the ball off center, it keeps that ball speed nice and high so we don't lose as much in terms of distance. Again, just like the T100 and T200 irons, this has got the new denser tungsten weighting positioned in this club head to try and be even more forgiving. So they push the weight further back, lower down, try and increase that CG to really try and help get the ball up in the air and get it flying further. Here is where the T300 is slightly different. It has variable face thickness across the club face. You might have heard something similar with Ping and other brands. So what Titleist have done is they've made the face thinner in the heel where they find a lot of strikes are for higher handicappers and that's where there has always been the biggest loss of ball speed and therefore distance. Obviously, as you expect to see in a game improves iron, you have the bigger cavity in the back of the club head. That's a much more obvious design on this, I think, to make it look more friendly and to make it appeal to those higher handicappers. Now we know what all the tech does, let's give them a hit and see how they go. So down behind the ball, very much straight away, you can see it's a bigger club head. So we've got a little bit more length from heel to toe and we've got a much thicker top line on the club. It's also definitely looks to have a little bit more offset. So that neck certainly sets the club face back a little bit further from the shaft. So yeah, definitely a more forgiving look behind the ball. That definitely felt easier. More of a spring off that face, big time. I mean, that nearly went in. Pretty good second one as well. Loads of height, that just feels very, very easy to hit. Again, these don't look chunky, but they're just slightly thicker than the T100s or the T200s. Uh, slight miss hit, a little bit heavy, but that's done really well considering. A little less spin, you see that run out a little bit more. So four, seven backspin. Not a big loss of ball speed, so that's a good sign of that forgiveness working. That was definitely a missed strike, yet it came off pretty well still. Exactly what you want to find from a club like this, just the club helping when you're not quite on it. That felt nice. This certainly feels like the game improver iron that you'd expect. Very jumpy, springy off the club face. Looks nice and easy to hit down behind the ball. The numbers it's giving are very impressive in terms of the ball speeds, launch angles, spin rates. There's no loss of backspin, which I do see quite often with the game improver distance iron. Let's have a few more. Slight miss hit there, a little bit lower in the face. Still loads of height, still loads of stopping power bit more spin, little lower launch. Again, ball speed hasn't dropped off, so I'm certainly believing that the technology in this club head is working. When I get it off center, the ball speed is staying high, so that variable face thickness, that polymer insert in behind the club head, max impact technology, really, I feel, is helping keep that ball speed nice and high. This is the sort of iron I can imagine putting in as a longer iron, just to make that easy, higher launching four iron, five iron. It's a bit toey. It's still flown as if I've hit it out the middle though. Good backspin still. 
good launch, not a big drop off in ball speed. So what I like is these aren't just jumping 10, 20 yards further than what I've hit from tightness already, but they do seem to be helping me when I don't quite catch them. Again, slightly off center, but you wouldn't really know it by the flight and the shot. Still flowing the distance, still stopping at the other end. These are really, really impressive. Let's hit a couple more and I'll have a look at the numbers and compare to the T200s as well. There we go, better one to finish on. Loads of height, loads of descent angle. So let's have a little look at the numbers overall and the averages and we'll do a little comparison to the T200 as well. So if you have a look at the T300s on their own, you can see ball speed, 130 mile an hour average, 21 degree launch angle average, 6,200 backspin average and 157 yards carry average. So all very much in the kind of range of where I see generally with my shots. So the T300s haven't just suddenly added 10 yards for me, but I certainly could feel a big forgiveness factor with it. If I did slightly hit them off center, they didn't drop off as much as I would probably see with other designs like the T100s or maybe even the T200. So, um, you know, they are branded as that most, as the forgiving club and they definitely do that for me. So if we compare the T200 to the T300, I've got some shots with the T200 here as well. Straight away, you can see just in the ball flights that there's a lot of difference in the height that I get with the T300 versus T2s. And therefore the distance I get is much higher or much longer. Well, I say much longer, it's six yards difference, but that's actually quite a good gain just from one iron head to the other. We look at the numbers side by side, there's three mile an hour difference in the ball speed compared to the T200. So that's a nice little gain. The launch angle is just very, very similar, but a tiny bit higher with the T300s. And the spin rates are lower with the T300. So a 6.1 compared to 6.7, that's gonna help that ball just travel through the air a little bit better with the T3s versus the T200s. Otherwise, like I said, carry wise, there's only six yards in it. Um, and that's quite a, a nice little gain, a half a club, you know, in terms of a gain. So out of the two irons there, I'd be, I'd be struggling to kind of say that I should be playing the T200s over the T3s. Really, I, if it was all about the numbers, I'd be picking the T300s all day long because they're giving me that little bit more distance, but I'm not losing out on spin or controllability. So um, they're a lot more easy to hit. And I actually don't find the looks too bad. I think they're quite a nice look behind the ball. They're a little bit chunkier. They're a little bit more offset, but they're not so chunky that they're off-putting. So if you are in a market for something that's more forgiving, then definitely, definitely look at the T300 irons from Titleist. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed that video and that review of the T300 irons from Titleist. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please do smash that like button down below. And if you haven't already, tap the subscribe button and a little bell icon next to it, and you'll be subscribed and you'll be alerted to every new video I post. Thanks again for watching guys. Stay safe and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.